Hello, in this video I would like to show you how to replicate one of the financial charts which Phil Oakley uses in his articles. I've chosen this financial chart uh, which is a graph of the operating profit and operating cash flow from Weatherspoons. but what I'm going to teach you now is applicable to any financial chart. So we can start off by choosing the share in question, so JD Weatherspoon and we can now open the financial charts section. In order to create a new financial chart you can go to the setting menu and click on create new. We'll give the chart a name and click on OK. By default when you create a new financial chart it will always open up a chart of the ROC by default. If we untick the export preview option it will show it into full screen. Now for the data we click on data we can remove the data that we don't want by pressing the delete button and now we can add the data we want to add by pressing add data item. We hit the select button and we start by searching for the first item which is operating profit. In his article, Phil uses the reported values, so I'm going to do the same. And I'm going to click on OK. Here we can then choose how the operating profit is going to be displayed on the chart. And if we see, he uses a dark green bar chart, so we're going to do the same. We go to Style and change Line to Bars. And we'll change the colour to a dark green. We click on OK and OK again. Here's our chart of the operating profit. Phil is also displaying operating cash flow so we'll do the same. We go back to data, we go back to add data item, we press select and we search for operating cash flow. We click on OK and again we choose bars and this time we choose a slightly paler green. Click on OK and OK again and here is our bar chart. Now you'll notice from his article he's only displaying data from 2011 onwards and we can do the same by using the slider bar and dragging until everything is hidden except for 2011. And here we have it, the chart of JD Weatherspoon's operating profit and operating cash flow on our copy of SharePad. And of course we can then easily apply this chart to any other of the shares in the list. Let's look at another example. In this article Phil is displaying a chart of boohoos.com's turnover and normalized EBIT. So we're going to replicate this by going to SharePad. We'll start off by searching for Boohoo and building the new chart. We click on setting, do create new, give it a name And uh, just as before, it opened up a chart of Boohoo's ROC. Again, I'm going to disable the export preview. And I'm going to go to data. And I'm going to delete the ROCE. I'll then press add data item. Go to select. This time I'll search for turnover. Click on OK and I think he used a dark green for turnover so I'll do the same. I'll go to bars and pick a dark green colour and now I go to add data item second time 
and I will search for EBIT. Uh, this time he does use the normalized figure, norm EBIT. So I'm going to make sure that the option here is set to normalized. I click on OK. I change it once again to a bar chart and pick a color. I click on OK and OK again. You will notice that as opposed to Phil's chart, we are also seeing figures for 2018, 19 and 2020. That is because we have the forecast option enabled. If you only want to show reported figures, just click on forecasts and the forecasts will disappear. I hope video, this video was useful for you, uh, but if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. In the meantime, thank you for listening and goodbye.